Hey guys and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is Caparium by Dragon Egg Games. This is a two player game for ages 12 and up and it takes roughly 30 to 45 minutes to play. And in the game Caparium, you are playing as one of two corporations. The sun has died and the people of Earth have found a new substance called Caparium and they are sending these corporations out to the planet that has lots of it to gather it and hopefully find a solution for the sun. Little do they know, both corporations are out for themselves to gain the uh, essence of Caparium and find the secrets therein and thusly gain control of the population by having the most important resource. Utilize your corporation's board, your workers, as well as your affinity markers while playing down cards that you will use and your opponents will use as well. Will you get to the very end of the board and reach the planet before the other corporation, or will you be left in the dust? Find out in the game now. To begin setup for the game, first take the main game board and place it out within reach of all players. Make sure that you have the three rows on your side of eight cards and the three rows of eight cards on your opponent's side. And the middle of the board, it should separate the two players. Should also have the secondary board, the discovery board. Shuffle the main deck of cards and place it on the main deck of cards space. The Caparium tokens in the middle and then each of the player's ships put them on the start location. Every player's main game board should have three workers and a four of these affinity markers, one of each different color type. Make sure that when you place them, they are on the unactive side face up. And then every player is going to draw five cards from the main game deck. This is going to be the cards you'll be utilizing throughout the game. Finally, each player is going to take three random strategy markers. These are cards are what you're going to be able to utilize when your ship reaches the strategy cards portion of the game map. Every player is going to get a player reference and the, of course, rules that you'll be utilizing throughout the game. And otherwise, you're basically ready to go. The game Caparium is played in turns. I take a turn, you take a turn, and we wince and repeat going back and forth. You take one action on your turn and then you pass to the next player. There are five actions you can take and let's go ahead and just get into them. The first is you can go ahead and play a card. You can take any card from your hand or the one on your secret lab and play it onto your side of the field. Your side of the field is the grid of eight cards in the first three rows. Take one of the cards and place it uh, next to the main game board or if you have a card already present, you can put it adjacent to one of the cards you already have currently on the board. These cards are going to give you a unique benefit, an action. They are also going to give your opponents a space that they can place their workers, and when they choose to recall their workers, they are going to give them a bonus. Additionally, each card that you play has a synergy. When you place down a card onto the field, you want to make sure that the sides of the card align with the colors adjacent, because whenever you want to use your control center action, which is an action I'll get into later, you want to check to make sure you have the most synergy possible on the game board. So attach greens with greens, blues with blues, yellows with yellows, and when you get a wild, put it anywhere you want. After you've played your card down and done the action on the card, it will stay there and be a usable space for your opponents when they place down workers. The next action you can go ahead and take is to play a worker. So with your worker, you can place your worker on your opponent's side of the field, either on their cards or on the main control center area of the game board. This middle area is going to have a section for you and for your opponent. Place it down in any of the spaces that has a worker placement symbol. Once you've placed your worker, that's it. That's all you have to do. <laughs> the next action is going to be to add a card to your secret lab. Your secret lab may only ever have one space uh, occupied. So you'll choose one of your cards and put it face down just like this. If you already have a card in your secret lab, you could choose to swap that card for a different card, but you may never have more than one card on your secret lab. Some cards, especially ones with wild symbols, are going to only be able to be played when they are on your secret lab. I suggest those be the ones that you put there. The next action you can take is you can refresh your hand. If you ever at any point have no cards in your hand or cards you don't like, you can choose to discard your hand into the discard pile and then draw back to four cards. The last action you can take is recalling workers, probably one of the most important actions in the game. Recalling workers will involve having to return all of the workers you have on the field. So if you only have two, you'll return all two. If you have all three, you will return all three. These workers are going to be on spaces that will give you a recall bonus. 
The ones in the center of the board are Spy Network, where you'll spend one of your Caparium, and you will be able to jettison one of the cards in front of you here, or discard a card in front of you. Uh, the other one is going to be a Caparium symbol, which is going to get you these little blue gems here, and you place them in your board. Another space is going to allow you as a science track thing or a science, space, a science token, you'll be able to draw a card from the deck here or place a card into your secret lab. And then the final space is the control center. You can spend, if you have, four Caparium uh, to remove a card from the field. When you do that, you're going to check to see its synergy. And based on its synergy, how many spaces adjacent to each of the corners has equal colors. So for instance, if I have a yellow next to a yellow, and then I had something like another yellow here, and uh, let's just say this one here, it would be a wild to a red, which is one, because a wild is red, a yellow to a yellow, which is two, and a yellow to a yellow, which is three. I can then remove this card, put it into the discard pile, checking to see if I jettison the correct bordered card. In this case, it is a silver one. So I would say, okay, here's a silver, and I would get the bonus for the rest of the game on my affinity token. And then with my discovery points, all three, I can then move my ship to the next space as long as that space is three or less. Discovery markers, discovery points is how you're going to be able to move your specific characters here. Additionally, uh, when you remove off of your opponent's cards, you're going to be able to do other things like destroy their Caparium or gain instant discovery points. Some cards specifically just have discovery on them, thusly allowing you to move on the board a little quicker, but usually not for a lot of discovery. In order to use a lot of discovery, you're going to need to have your synergy cards in order to get to those spaces with three, four, and five. And those are basically what you're going to be doing. You will be playing cards on, from your secret lab onto the field or cards from your hand onto the field. You will be adding workers or playing workers from your board onto the field. You will be able to add a card to your secret lab, refresh your hand, and recall workers and gain any benefits from any, any of the cards on your opponent's side or of course the main middle spaces on your opponent's side. The most important thing is remember that you place cards down, you gain their benefit on your side of the field, and you place workers down and recall them from your opponent's side of the field and gain their benefits. First person to reach the end of the track is the winner of the game. So what is Caparium? Well, Caparium is a worker placement, card management, card placement game. You are basically trying to create a grid that synergizes well on your side of the field, as well as gain the best benefits you possibly can. Your also objective is to make sure that your opponents cannot utilize the cards that you place on the field to their advantage have too many cards with discovery points on them, and your opponents are going to zoom past you every time they recall workers. Gaining bonus discovery points is super useful and will allow your opponents to get far ahead in the game. Additionally, each of your cards might provide you with a strong benefit, but it will also leave a stain that allows your opponents to gain that useful benefit as well. So make sure you have ways to remove those cards or jettison those cards as soon as you possibly can to prevent your opponents from gaining that upper hand. Other things to note in this game are not only card placement, but also, of course, worker placement. Worker placement is very important in this game. You need to make sure that you choose the right spots, be able to move your workers when you need to, and avoid having your opponents remove cards from their side of the field, and thus they remove your workers off of their cards and place them back into your space. You want to prevent losing turns in this game. And losing a turn is pretty simple. If you were to take an action and not get to use that action because of one reason or another, that would be losing a turn. And you need to be very, very aware of when that could possibly happen. Check to see what your opponents are doing, and you'll notice what their next action is most likely going to be, thusly freeing up a space for you to place to prevent yourself from losing that action. The main discovery board is also quite unique. As you move across the board, you'll be having to do basic small discovery point markers going from one space to one space to one space, hitting a two here and three and sometimes a four and finally the five. Um, and as you go along the board, you'll start finding little cool spaces like a strategy card space. And this is going to allow you to select one of these really big bonuses, whether it be removing one of your workers from the game and setting it aside to gain five Caparium and four research, or perhaps something like moving any workers, then destroying one Caparium for each worker that is moved. Uh, and these are really powerful, unique, one-time use effects. Otherwise, there are spaces on the game board that will give you bonuses, whether it be to destroy your opponent's Caparium, move your workers, or the ability to draw cards or place cards into your secret lab.
Additionally, your secret lab cards are very, very, very good, but they're also very good to stay on the field. So when you play them, you want to be ready to remove them the moment you do, so that you don't have to worry about your opponents gaining any benefits from them. Playing cards down is only important when it comes to making them weak, but high synergy, because then your opponents aren't going to gain the benefit of discovery points. Anything that involves discovery points is always very, very useful in this game, so you always have to be very, very mindful of what your opponents are doing and when they're doing it. Choosing to use all three of your workers is important as well. And to do that, you're going to need to have these guys here. These are going to be your uh, affinity markers. Whenever you jettison, aka use the control center to remove one of your cards, gain discovery points, and move on the track here, you're also hopefully going to get to flip one of these guys. And when you flip them, you'll gain a benefit. So if I were to flip or jettison a, sli a sliver card from a sliver, a silver card from my side of the field, I get to flip this guy, which then says whenever I play another silver card, I can also play a worker, or I can get to draw two cards. It's very, very nice. A red card, that I can play a worker if I play a red card again, or I can gain one discovery point, allowing me to move on the track a lot quicker. And so each of these is going to give you some type of benefit or bonus that will allow you to progress throughout the game. Unlocking these early will be a very big key to victory. To note too, placement does matter in this game, but it only matters at certain times. There are only three big spaces, four in the entire game. You're gonna have a three, a three, a four, and a five. And the four and the five come very late. So placing down cards with low value to your opponent and high value to, to you is the most important and removing cards as quickly as you can as well. This is a tactical game. This is a game about taking actions back and forth and checking your opponent to see what they play and what they're going to do next. And how they play will determine what you should play as well. There are cards in the, the, the deck that are going to be very powerful for you that might just give you lots of caparium. They might be things that allow you to defeat or defeat, destroy or move your opponent's workers or their caparium. Um, you might be able to gain discovery equal to the total cards synergy uh, and so on and so forth. Of course, the strongest cards are going to be ones from your secret lab, such as must be played from your secret lab. A discard up to three red cards from your play area. And for every one you do discard, you'll gain up to one uh, discovery and one caparium. So you can go to three and three, allowing you to move onto a big space. And so, yeah, there is a ton of cards in this game. There are a ton of different worker places. This game is an ever-changing worker placement two-player game. We played on our live stream the other day, and we played it as a team game, two versus two. And that was a lot of fun as well. So if you wanted to play in a 2v2 style where you're both working together to choose the best actions for your corporation, that's fine. But this game is made to be played as a two player game. And as a two player game, it works very, very well. Caparium is an excellent game. It's a lot of fun and there's a lot of things you can do in it. I give it my seal of approval, especially for a two player game. I really, really enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Caparium. If you're interested in picking the game up, there's a link down below in the description where you can check it out check it out you can also check out our website on filtergamer.com blog posts giveaways kickstarter lists and more we have a live stream every sunday and every wednesday at 6 30 p.m pst on whatnot and on facebook youtube and twitch if you're interested just go ahead and pop by go ahead and comment like and subscribe hit that subscribe button if you've earned your subscription this is the second video or third or fourth video you've seen perhaps it's worth subscribing and we of course do greatly appreciate it all right guys that's all i got for you this time and as always i look forward to reaching the planet before you next time